in this video I will talk about the base material and something called the default material and also a hidden base material that you cannot see. So let's decipher all these things. Uh, we'll create a new sphere and right now it's being colored by the base material. Uh, let's take a look at the base material's properties and make a note of that. It has a specular of 20, diffuse color of 1 and diffuse amount of 80 which essentially makes it kind of gray. So if I now press M for polygon set material, which incidentally it's named completely differently in the texture uh, menu, it here is called assign material group. But uh, anyway, you get this dialog. And this dialog, uh, it links to whatever material you have selected here, and it also remembers the, the last settings. So um, I will show you what that means in a bit. But right now it, it suggests a name of default and incidentally it has the same properties that the base material has. So if I create this material now, it's assigned to this uh, mesh and I can go in and I can change the color of the material. Now if I want to create say another material for this mesh and I call this one other and we change that to a blue color and bring up the dialog again it remembers the last material that we had and um, it also lets you select the default material which we had um, so so the color here is linked to whatever color the default material has. But it also remembers the settings here. So if I press OK and I, for example, even if I reset or if I create a new scene uh, and I create a new mesh and I press M, it will remember these settings. So sometimes it's good to, to remember what the default material looked like. Have you ever wondered what it what happens if you delete the base material? Let's you're now about to find out. So if I delete all of these materials, I get this mesh. It looks like the base material, except for that the specularity is now gone. So um, that's the super catch base base material that's taking and uh, shading this one right now. Okay I have a new scene and I would like to point out one more thing about this M dialog that comes up when you assign materials. Um, I will create myself a sphere and I will open this one up and I will create another uh, material. And this material has the same properties as the base material. So that's that's what you get when you create a material this way. I uh, just wanted to point that out first. Uh, I'll delete it. Actually we can keep that for now. And I press M and if you see in this none of the materials I have in the shader tree actually show up in this dialog here. I can't select them. So what's up with that? Um, let's delete this one now. Well, it turns out that there is something going on behind the scenes called material tags. So if I go in and I select four, four of these polygons uh, and I press M and I will now type a good name test and I press OK. What's, what's this actually going to do now is that it's going to create a material tag and assign it to these polygons. Then it will create a group and assign the group to the material tag. And there's only there's no way to see this tag but from this group. So if I click on the group, I will see that it uses a polygon tag type of material and a polygon tag of that's named test. Now if I press M in this dialog now, I have test. It doesn't say the name of the group. It 
just says test and the test is the name of the material tag that we apply to those polygons and it conveniently named the group MATR, MATR material and then the name of the of the tag that we assigned it to but I can actually rename this group to say my group and I will get a question be cryptic to understand if you don't understand this but do you want to reassign materials with that name and if you answer yes then you will rename the polygon material tag that, that was created by pressing M and if you press no you will rename the group but the polygon tag will rename remain the same name so let's press no and see what happens I now have my group and it's still assigned to a polygon tag called test and if I press M you will see that it says, still says test here so uh, th this proves that this dialog shows only material uh, tags and uh, you can get into a tricky situation here with this um, you can for example if I create a new group now um, I'll drag it out and I manually tell it to use this um, this tag now so I will add um, let's say I'll add the cellular texture to that doesn't matter um, if I now press M I have test test so <laughs> there are two groups associated with uh, with this material tag called test and it lists the groups but it doesn't list the name of the groups it just lists the name of the tag let's take a look at multiple select in the shader tree um, sometimes when people want to use the same color on several um, several materials they go in and instance it you can also um, uh, do multiple select in the shader tree and as you can see I have two materials the base material and test materials and you can see where these two materials differ so the diffuse amount is different uh, between them and, and displacement distance is different so if I go and stop changing this it will um, override and set them both to zero and if I change the color on one of them well, we can both get the same color and um, this was possible because they were in the same type of layer um, but I can select several different layers at the same time if I select all of these I get additional tabs um, and also if I go for example to the texture layer I get the properties from all of these materials uh, or layers concatenated into one super large view so um, if I go insert on that I can actually fill the you can see them all at the same time 